So this is number so, one. Number one. So we're yeah, first like, one. Yay! It's our first video. Well, first actual soda review. And our first one is Melba's Fixings Key Lime Pie Soda. Um, so the way we do this is one of us uh, just had a swallow, just yeah. a taste. Just yeah. Get a first impression of it. The other one drank, you know, as you can see, most of the rest of the bottle. Yeah. So I'm the one that drank most of the rest of the bottle. Ah, there was There's some still left. some fizz left. Ah, that's good. We actually bought these like two days ago. So, so and it's so, been sitting with an inch in it. Two days later, it's got about an inch left, and it's still got some fizz. That is a good sign. <laughs> um, so two days later, I'm I'm curious to see how how it works. So we have these three categories. We're gonna rate it on fizz, flavor, and sweetness. Then we'll look at a a good point, a bad point, and then the other person will get that first impression that they got. Yeah. So remember, three, right in the middle, one to five, but three is the sweet spot. Below that is not enough. Above that, it's too much. Yeah. So um, I did the rankings for this soda, and on fizz, I gave it a four. The fizz was good, but when I have a soda, usually I like to kind of hold it in my mouth and savor the flavor and the sweetness a little bit. And if the fizz is too strong, then it just kind of blots out the flavor. And this one did that some. Of course, they're all going to do that some, but this one did it, in my opinion, worse than others. Um, on flavor, I gave it a three because the flavor was perfect, in my opinion. The sweet and the sour mixed really well. It did have a bitter aftertaste, but that weakened as I drank, almost like the soda was like reward rewarding me for drinking it, which is really cool. Um, on sweetness, I gave it a four. Because it was actually a lot sweeter than the key lime pies that I've had. Uh, so it was a bit sweeter than I think that it should have been. But it was, it was still very good soda. The best point, I believe, was that the taste kind of changed as I drank it. That the bitterness kind of went away. That said, I like the bitterness. It's unique. You don't often find it in sodas. Uh, the worst point... I think is sweeter than expected because I like sour things and bitter things. Also. Well, especially if it's supposed to be a sour. Yes, thing. yes. I mean, exactly. key lime is—it's a lime. It's supposed to be sour, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I—I I, I tasted the first taste and I was like, "Ugh, bitter aftertaste." Ooh, I've got to drink some of my soda to get that taste out of my mouth. Yeah. Um, and you know, so I don't know. He said it went away after a while, but uh, yeah. I just the bitter taste. But that too, I mean, I can see with key lime. But it tasted like they got some of the rind in there to me. It was just a little too too bitter. Yeah, so... I don't mind the sour, but the bitter I could do without. You can try it out for yourself. We're going to be stocking this at the Blue Ridge Antiques Mall in downtown Blue Ridge. Hopefully. <laughs> if we can if we get can, our hands if, on it. Yeah. yeah, It's it's not an easy one to find, no. but... This is fact, one of the more difficult ones this, in our stock. This is one that we had never heard of before ourselves mm -hmm. uh, until this last week. And so, you know, we and we've been around soda shops that have some very unique flavors. But yeah. even this entire brand, this Melba's Fixins, yeah, we had the never first heard time. of it. We've heard of Lester's Fixins, yes. but this is the um, first Melba's Fixins. There's, there's two. They're the same original, like basic brand, uh, mm -hmm. like right. how. Coca-Cola has Coke and Barks, yeah. but there's Melba's Fixings and there's Lester's Fixings, and just from what I've had, Melba's is way better. Well, Melba's is the desserty one. That's, I mean, they got like true. key lime pie and carrot cake. We haven't tried yeah. the carrot cake yet, but you know, Lester's is bacon and cream corn or sweet corn or something. You know, ranch dressing. We're gonna That's have some different. of those too, aren't we? Well, we've got some. Uh, yeah. Maybe in one of our next videos, we'll actually show you. A few of the ones that we've got yeah. you know, that we're not necessarily going to taste test right away, but we've, we've got a few rather odd ones, to say the least. So, hey, Vern, you know what this sound means in Texas? Empty. Empty. You, you drank it all. I didn't even yeah. get a second taste of that one. You, you didn't like that? your first taste. Well, you said it got better after this. Well, uh, anyway. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Well, all right. So that's our first one. And, you know, tell us what you think about the idea of a key lime pie soda. Never never thought of that before. That's no. a different one. So it's, certainly, you know, lemonade, limeade. So it's not far, far off the beaten path. But 
But still, I mean, good yeah. idea. Come over, buy one, try it. 